No death network. Oh shit, yeah, get a real route. Let's do it to no, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, yeah. 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 I know you like guitars. Oh, shit. No way. Dude, you real. You real for this. I like to bring it. Only the real ones know what we be on. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I appreciate you, bro. That's love. Yeah. Yeah, from Linwood, bro. Oh, okay. And then family moved up to the valley. You feel me? And then my dad's been doing his shit. Uh, my mom, so they could support us. And yeah, I've been cooling in the valley since like when just around eight or nine. In the valley? Okay, mm -hmm. around eight or nine. Yeah. And then you just kind of, as you got older and saw the scene developing, kind of made your way into no, the city, made your way into I fucking Lowe's. made my own scene, bro, because yeah. I fucking was playing in a band. So I didn't give a fuck about. I didn't know, give a fuck about the scene because I didn't know what that shit was. Bro. Yeah. So like niggas was like, uh, I not played rock music by the way, so niggas was not fucking with that. Yeah. So I was like, so I was just doing my shit um, in a rock band. You don't like, fuck with rock music, you a bitch. <laughs> oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh baby. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the wave right now, the rock star. Yeah, girl. bro, that's what it's becoming. I'm like, bro, nigga, you know, even and him, we've like, been we're on doing it for the life, bro. bro whole like, lives, bro. Like when I was <laughs> y'all, like, y'all, y'all, y'all are so yeah, late, bro. That's catching so up, way too late. Yeah, yeah, catching up on the rock drip. That's that's why I don't want to rock the picks. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I appreciate. I can tell it's. I can tell it's it's deeply ingrained, it. yeah, bro. This is what we love to do. Yeah. And when niggas come with that fake weird, like I'm trying or whatever, it's like I don't know, bro. They're just kind of like doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah, and that's cool to find your own space, but like, yeah, we we already been, you know. <laughs> that's so, our shit. Wait, bro. did you start? You started a band at the age of ten. Yeah, it, yeah. It's called yeah. Skin and Bones. Skin and I'm bones, skinny as fuck. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, that's all we have, bro. I remember yeah. those <laughs> Yeah, bro, I was like, that's all we oh, have, bro. I was like, that's all we have. So then we cut Skin and Bone. I started performing a lot, and then niggas just not recording what we were performing. I was like, why don't we record these songs? And that's when everybody came at an artistic like degree, a disagreement, you feel me? Oh, okay. It's hard. It's hard to keep like a band together. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what had me like around 16, 15. That's how, what had me um, change to like rapping and producing music. Because yeah. I was like, okay, if if I have to be a one man band, what does that entail? But you kind of brought that like rock star aesthetic. Yeah, because that's all I knew. Yeah, so I was like, okay, let me just. Because I like being comfortable wherever I go, bro. I don't like having to try and be extras because you know, <laughs> you know your self worth and then it'll take you places. And I knew my talents would take me places, so I wasn't really trying to be extras for nobody because yeah. niggas don't have to do none of that. You really did it, don't. Did it help, like, being in L.A., you think? I think it did. God did bless me with growing up in L.A. because I got to see, like, a lot of the industry side on top of uh, seeing, like, the food side of what, you feel me, what people aren't and aren't doing. And it didn't help me with connections because a lot of that shit is already here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did see. Speaking of connections, I saw like an early photo of you with um, Zay Hellfinger. Is that good? Were you yeah. one of those dancing? <laughs> Hell no, bro. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's that the you. little bro, though, bro. Yeah, that's my yeah, yeah, that's my little brother, bro. But not nah, um, I ain't dance with him. I used to jerk and shit yes. when niggas. You was I was gonna say you were here for like the yeah. jerking wave. Like, Hell yeah, bro! Yeah. I wanted to be a ranger so bad. <laughs> <laughs> they went to tap, they was jerking, busting shit down. Yeah. Like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, that was all me. But that's what had me, like, more into recording and blogging. Because when I was watching, like, jerkers and shit, like, oh, they're all just blogging. Niggas, niggas just recording them having fun every yeah, day. Yeah, it's you just those, those quick, like, Instagram, like, mm -hmm. type videos. Mm -hmm. you know? And then niggas, yeah. on top of that, is getting paid for it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we finna be all about it that. Yeah. Uh, what did you do in the band? Did you play an instrument? Or yeah, I played lead guitar and vocalist. Okay. Um, and then I play drums sometimes. But yeah, I play lead guitar. Um, and we would just, like, do hella shows around the valley in yeah. L.A. Um, the Hollywood Bones, or the Hollywood Bones, I like those. Okay. Yeah, those two. Oh, so yeah. How long did that uh, did the band stay together? 
skin and bones. Uh, we stayed together about like six years, bro. Oh, six years. Nice. Yeah, so like from around 10, 11 to 16. 16, whenever I went, yeah, 16, 15, whenever I went into like high school. Hey, thanks. How, and how far did you like get with the band? Like, did it did it seem like it was going someplace? Did you start to get into the industry part? Yeah, we were like it was weird because we, a lot of them were already a part of like the industry. Their parents were a part of like yeah. shit like that. So, like, okay, how do I? But it was weird. There was always like a weird like people didn't want to see me like win or something. I don't know. I get bullied a lot. I would niggas be going through a lot of bullshit. Would you, so, like, would you consider yourself like an outsider? Uh, when it comes to like this this music or like the whole like <laughs> just the you in general and, and like yeah definitely bro I, like the only reason I'm so passionate about a lot of the shit I'm passionate about is because um, I was like an outcast like I was the one black kid in my elementary school like one of the only black kids bro with a skateboard that's to rock music and you know people like oh he just emotional like tip him off. I'm like, y'all don't understand what I'm going through. And this was cool. before it was cool to skate. And bro, before it was cool to do yeah. any of that shit. Wear bro. Iron Maiden shirts. And yeah, shit. yeah, bro. I would get, I would get crippled, bro. Like, you know, one time niggas thought I was gay shit. Niggas done locked me in a locker. I was like, when I was like mad young, and I was like, this is crazy because like, I'm just trying to express myself and and, and trying to do music and really be sincere in my art forms. And, and y'all are misconvoluting it and taking it, you feel me, and making it something ugly. Were you early on? Early on, were you into the fashion and hell yeah, and it took on to that. Hell yeah. yeah, I was always into fashion. I was like, I never have enough bread to buy the right fashion, so I'm just finna make my own. Yeah. <laughs> so I started. Yeah, that's. I have a clothing line called Donna Uno with my man Shawnee. Y'all can go check that out. Donna okay. Uno, D O N N A Uno oh, yeah. on Instagram. And we got a website too. Um, we work with like, we work with ASAP Bar. He puts us on to different shit. Uh, no name drop, hot. But yeah, he puts us out to a lot of shit. So does niggas from Rude and shit like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I started off doing fashion and just customizing pieces when I was mad, young. Yeah. yeah, and I saw recently you were doing some modeling, right? Oh yeah. Um, or it was like some type of fashion show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing this. I was doing, um, well, I was fashion director in Calabasas. And then before that, we had uh, just like a quick shoot um, with Donna Uno and different stuff like that. Uh, it was Donna Uno and Sake World. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Sake another, yeah. Store, mm -hmm. Sake Forever. <laughs> the Sake Forever? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Two Savages. Brand. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's shot five, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's forget what bro have you. Okay, that's cool. And uh, these Savage must be sponsored by them, but that's not his brand. That's not his brand. Well, it was like, wasn't it his homie that like started Jack? Yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Started yeah. Design, he yeah, did the designs for recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Recipes. yeah. 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 Homie got Jack. hit, car mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. recipes, man. Forever. Did that forever. happen out here? Were they? Yeah, was out here. Right I think there. it yeah, happened out here. I think yeah. it was in Venice. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. bro. It was some cops chasing people, and they didn't have their sirens on. Did a cop hit him? No, no, no. It was like a high speed chase. Yeah, high speed chase. With their lights off, trying not to alert people. You know what I'm saying? That's how LAPD be. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Fuck to a Sometimes they suck as hell, bro. You know what I mean? But so you're interested interested in like pursuing modeling and the fashion. Mm -hmm. like, well, keep well, up with that. Bro, of course, like mm -hmm. if I have space for that, people want to give me, if you know, work around my brand, because I'm not going to just uh, compromise my brand. For well, it definitely goes like hand in hand with the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With the promotion, with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm like, if people want to work, uh, I'm all for it. You know, it's got good faces and all that. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, I'm off for that. Yeah, nothing, a pretty, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not for nothing. So yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, bro, I, I like that. I just like to be fluid and do what comes natural. So if yeah. it was like it wasn't natural, then I wouldn't be. That comes off like in your music and with just you know everything you do. You I appreciate really that. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, that's what that's one of the main things that I notice with artists nowadays. Yes, yeah. is, is it genuine? You know, do they have the originality? Yeah, because at first I was like. I mean, I wouldn't do music if it didn't come natural. I'll do something else. Like, there's yeah. a lot of shit that I do like to do, but it doesn't come naturally, so I'm not, like, speaking it. And with rapping, mm, producing, I feel like anytime I rap, I'm just talking. I'm just, like, whether I need to talk bullshit to somebody or I need to uplift, uplift somebody or I just want to get shit off my chest or just 
just say bullshit. Like it's you yeah. can do whatever it's whatever world you can have it. Would you say it's like therapy to you? Hell yeah. yeah. Like when I don't bro, mm. he came over, we were supposed to make a tape and this fool is just like making tracks and shit. I'm like, bro, I need to rap. Like, I'm gonna like have an aneurysm, bro. Like, I need yeah. to rap, bro. <laughs> like, I just failed the vocal. Like, I failed yeah, shit coming out my to have him load up a beat like, like eight times. Like, eight like, like, motherfucking Let me show you one more beat. Let me show you. Mm, I was like, bro, you <laughs> I tripping. Just be, I just be cooking, bro. Yeah. You tripping. Yeah, yeah you tripping like you're fucking with me. It's just being recorded over. I just need to crib. I'm not used to that shit. Yeah, bro, it's a new lifestyle. You out. We out here. But that's you, like, keeping productive, you know? Yeah, like, all this shit. Yeah. Because it's weird, because, like, now that I do speak it or whatever, just we're, we're just rapping, whatever. You no, know, we could turn it into something that can make us, you know, bread back or like, you feel me? Instead of it just being like a form of therapy or a hobby, you feel me? Now I can yeah. just live it you know, exactly and, and do whatever we want to do. You like coming like into this area from the valley, you know, other than being in the valley. Uh huh. Hell know, yeah, it's like a different scene, bro. The valley cool. I like, you feel me? Everything cool. It's like I always like to. <laughs> I always love to fucking move around and work on music because when I get stagnant, then you feel me? My creativity gets stagnant with me, bro. And it's just like, I don't like that. So I like to gain different. Um, you got to keep putting yourself out there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when did you join this little like Melrose community? I ain't, I ain't joined none of that. No? Well, I, I mean, I would say that this is kind of part of it. I'm just right here. Did you say? Yeah. I'm just, bro, if I was in Pennsylvania or I was in Texas, bro. Dude, they'll ask me why. When did you join this community? I'll be like, I never did, bro. Cause like this rock shit or all this shit that's going on. Oh, you you so you're part of like the look or the no, bro. This has always been my life, bro. So when it's not cool, it's gonna be me. When it's just cool, it's gonna be me. Like things always recycle back around. You feel yeah. me? So like, but with this Melrose community, like my friends is here right now. But when my friends is not here, and my work is not here, I'll no longer uh, be here. Yeah. I mean, there are definitely like certain people who stand out exactly in, from it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because yeah. it is kind of just you mean like this whole yeah oversaturated. That's what. But bro, I've been seeing this, bro. Like it's where I lived here. You feel me? So I've been seeing this. Uh, all this Melrose shit, like the longest, but like this is, I feel like yeah, it's always, here, so. yeah, I feel like it's always been proper, the little scene, always been popping. if you a rapper, bro, and you want to get your shit out there, just literally rock Melrose on Saturday, mm -hmm. and start rapping your shit, you, you get picked up, like sure. all my life, mm -hmm. <laughs> just walk Melrose, and tell people you a rapper, you a producer, bro, and I'm telling you, you're That's gonna have I'm placements saying, and everything by the time the it's night's like over, the, the Melrose boom, yeah, yeah, all my life, yeah. Like, everybody, your mom moving to LA. But it's like, everybody, if like, I ain't seen you on Melrose, a fair fact. I mean, LA is not real. real. You know, people on Melrose, like, most of them are not, like, big, bro. Yeah, at all, bro. Niggas not big, but if you're looking for work, niggas who are rapping just in their room, bro. Looking for other people to work with. If you're not gonna go on your phone, I mean, you can find yeah. a producer. Bro, you just, that's no, you, just, you, you can't always keep it in there. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, saying, I'm saying we're yeah. talking about Melrose. Talk, what, like, talk, what, what about Melrose? <laughs> <laughs> He's out the interview, bro. He's <laughs> out. He wasn't even. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I meant by like the Melrose community. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Facts, it's facts, just facts. Just hanging out down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I fuck with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's you don't get it. You're down there. You're on Melrose, right? No, I mean, you're on Melrose, though, right? Yeah. And anybody can talk to you, right? Yeah. And you do music, and you're on the same level. Jumper block, bro. Stop talking to me, bro. Like you don't yeah, realize I'm, I'm, you know where I'm, you at. I'm thinking, know what you're doing, bro. I'm, 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 it's, it's either, it's either, I don't I'm tell you. It's either I'm misinterpreting what you're saying, but I don't agree. It's just no, I, I know I was saying, but I'm telling you, like we've like, like, always been around here. So it's like Fairfax, my nigga. When it was, bro, it's like, like when it, you feel me? So it's like, bro. There's a little community here. That's all. Yeah, that's all they're just saying. Like you could go out and talk to whoever. Like it's community, just like social networks. But I think that like Melrose and just LA in general has always kind of been like leading the way for things like this so it is like there is a community but it's kind of like a new hip-hop like mm. type of, it started here mm -hmm. I feel you I know? mean I, bro I like I, I can't speak on that because I really feel like a lot of people who are talented the talented ones are the ones with the vision come over here because like yeah. the things mm -hmm. just happening and it starts to build more but they that it didn't start here bro like at mm -hmm. all like for it needs to say oh yeah Melrose or whatever you know it's I mean, because everybody goes been, down there there's there's just lots of different waves you know yeah. there's like there was the miami wave yeah but there definitely is a wave here right now i feel like yeah. the wave you here know, right now is a mixture of everything from the atlanta chicago all that mm -hmm. and yeah, la on its own they come down here yeah. with a little cloud yeah, exactly. or whatever followers they built up in their homeland 
And then <laughs> they're, 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 they're new. They're yeah, new here. Wakanda. This is, a, <laughs> this is a good place to like build, though. You know what I mean? This yeah, is yeah. a good place to build that and to like take it to the That's next the level. You know? And that like reminds me of a question oh, for you, Bush Boy. Like, how how big do you want to take this? Like, do you want to make it to some type of quote unquote mainstream level, or do you want to be like Bro, underground I'll, legend type shit? Hell no, nah, I'll yeah. be whatever I need to be. Like, I don't have no, I don't have no expectations for this. I just know what I want to do, and I want to make it. You feel me? Past make it like, you know what I mean? We're already on that, but it's like I want it just to. I don't know. I just want to be able to get my message across and have everybody able to hear. I understand, and whether you like it or not, like. You feel me? You're you're able to hear it, so I want that. Just like you feel me, low bar like awareness. If you call it, that's all it is. I, but I don't look like oh, okay. I'm going to an a industry where it gets more mainstream, or, yeah. or cause like well then what? Or do you if think? it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. type deal. If it happens, yeah. it happens. But like bro, I have so many other businesses and different things that. I run like music is like my whole life, everything. That's it. And artists don't really need to like shoot for that anymore. Yeah. It seems like you know you can create your own business. Yeah, exactly. Or your own... You got everything. Just everything's at your fingertips. You are your exactly. own god. I am a god. So it's like you can do whatever you want. I don't have to be in the mode of nobody else's. Uh, what they believe will be great. Yeah. Oh, how, it'll be great if you're in this or whatever as a rapper. Like, no, nah, I just do. I do music, bro. And whatever y'all want to call me, you can call me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I feel that. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you can really do it from. Anywhere, I mean, it does help exactly. being out here. Exactly. Like you know, through social media and YouTube and yeah. anything. You anything, can, anything's like extra. Like true. put put on that robot suit and help you get to wherever you need to be. How do you How do you feel about like social media and like I love the it. state of social media? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that shit. Like you could go, you could literally sit in your room and and, and have a message you want to get across like a hundred thousand people and build marketing strategies to get to a hundred thousand people, and now you like a. You feel me? You up there for those hundred thousand people or whatever it is. But it's 50-50 though. Yeah, yeah. It, it can it. become an addiction. It can yeah, become an addiction. It can be addiction. Yeah. But I don't it's, let it get like that. You can worry about like the wrong things <laughs> like, from social media. Like, but you can build a yeah, platform. Exactly. Too. But yeah, I keep my I keep all my emotion, all my there's no emotion in my like all of that extras. I don't I don't have space for that. So it's like I have a job to do on here on this little screen and then you feel me, I'm out, I'm jigging, finessing. We are doing the things that we need to do in the studio, but yeah, I'll post up, say, you know what I'm doing, and then have everything run out. Yeah, you don't Yeah, da 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 da, da. bitch, you stupid. Yeah, yeah, misunderstood. Hope you swing good. Mama said it best, then I'm on my high head. Misunderstood. Yeah, 